Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tavern Brawl. Today we're going to be playing some lead from the front. This brawl will have our hero have taunt. So basically all of our minions are protected by our character's face. However, our minions can still be targeted by spells. And if our minions have taunt, they can also be targeted. So for this brawl, I chose a priest and I mainly focused on minions that can grow over time. Like we have the Light Warden here, which can gain two attack every time we heal. We also have the Micro Machine, which is incredibly good. It gains one attack every single turn. And unless your opponent has a spell to counter this guy, he's going to continue to grow until like turn 10. Something like an Explosive Trap would definitely ruin his day though. We have a few cards to get rid of uh, some beefier minions like the Shadow Word Death. Questing Adventurer will grow over time, just like the Micro Machine. Holy Champion is great. It uh, gains two attack every time a character is healed. We have the Palatress in here to throw some more big legendary minions on the board. Alexstrasza to potentially cut your opponent's health in half. And a few control cards in here like uh, Entomb and uh, Mind Control, along with some mass board clear like the Soul Priest plus the Circle of Healing combo. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Anduin versus Anduin. Okay, we got another priest. The light shall bring victory. Light smiles upon the just. Let's go ahead and toss the Alexstrasza and keep the Light Warden and Zombie Chow. Entomb won't work until much later in the game. Greetings. Let's get out the Zombie Chow first of all. So the zombie chows are, are in the deck simply because of the soul priest circle of healing combo. If I can get two zombie chows on the board plus the uh, circle of healing combo, that's 10 damage directly to his face. Oh, Shade of Naxxramas. That's not a bad idea, actually. That might even be a better choice than the questing adventurer. Let's give this some additional uh, firepower here. We have the Soul Priest here, so we can potentially clear his board next turn. Glory! Oh boy! That'll be interesting because the Soul Priest is going to counter that, I believe. Um... This could be really interesting. I want to see what happens here. Oh, I should have, uh... Actually, it doesn't matter since he was already at full health. Let's do this. So that's five damage to his face. How did that do five? I'm a little confused. I thought that would only do 4 damage to all. Somehow it did 5, I'm... ...a little lost. Okay. First of all, let's get this guy up to full health. Or close to it. Blood Mage, I wonder why he wants this. For the spell damage, I guess? Him healing his own face uh, boosts the attack of the Light Warden too. Let's uh, do some of that. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I should have used that on my face. I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Holy fire for the exact amount of damage he needed there. We have a light well. I don't really see anything that I want to entomb. Let's just go like that. Come 
And a Hanso. Wow, he gets two Wind Furies out of the deal. Let's see, um... I can entomb something. Maybe I should entomb the... the, uh, six attack Wind Fury. Next turn we have the Alex Straza to cut him down to 15. Okay, that thing still has Wind Fury. That's pretty bad. Micro Machines is really good. I think we need to Alex Straza him though. Eight damage is better than the uh, minimal damage we would get from the micro machine. Molten giant. Gonna be rich. And a Reno. God, I hate Reno. Every freaking deck is a Reno deck these days. It pisses me off so much. Should have known since he hasn't played any of the same cards over again. Well, that's a load of, uh, bullcrap. Let's... I think we're dead here, yeah. Nothing we can really do to save our skin. Oh well. Maybe next time. Okay, up next is, a uh, Hunter. The light shall bring victory. You see, this is why I don't play on the ladder anymore. <laughs> it's because every deck I play against these days is either a Reno deck or a Anyfin Paladin. And it's just so frustrating and so, uh... Seems like a really lame way to play, I guess is what I'm getting at. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do have a any Fen Paladin of my own, but just seeing deck after deck, any Fen or Reno, any Fen or Reno, it's just no fun at all. Looks like this guy is just a straight up face Paladin. I can't really play anything right now. The thing is, this, uh... Lepernome is probably never gonna trigger. Because there's no no way to uh, get him off the board, really. I smell blood. Arcane Golem? That's an interesting choice. It gives me a mana crystal, but... It's a 4-2 right on the board. We can start doing a little bit of damage control here. Maybe, uh... Heal our face a little bit. These guys are going to get pretty big. Quest accepted. I think we can easily out-damage this guy with what he's got on the board. Get in there and fight, maggot. Abusive? That's not really going to save you. If he has like a... Kill command, okay. If he has like a explosive trap, I'd be in... Pretty big trouble here. Magma Rager, that's a pretty good one. Although very uh, susceptible to getting um, explosive trapped. Ah. 
So, does he have enough to kill me? If he doesn't, then uh, I think he's done. He has 13, 15 on the board. Oh, is that it? I think that's... That's only 17. I think I won. <laughs> he's got me down to one health. So close. So close. Anduin versus Roll. For Doomhammer. The light shall bring victory. Okay, definitely holding on to the micro machine. I don't need anything else. Two micro machine, that's really good. I'm pretty sure these guys will be up to like nine twos but by the time he gets to deal with them. Maybe this guy is AFK? He was taking a really long time picking his cards. Oh, I think I saw some movement up there. Did his hand just jiggle a little bit? I'll just wait it out. Greetings, friend. Ah, there he is. I did see a shaman earlier who pretty much just flooded the board with shitty totems and just threw down a bunch of uh, bloodlusts doing over 30 damage to me in one turn. It was just ridiculously dumb. I'm hoping he's not planning on doing the same thing. So he's full-on mechs, I guess. Interesting to see him using a weapon. Give me a quest. Here I come, here I come. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to do enough damage to me with a, just a 3-1 weapon. Gives a mech 2 plus 2. Looks like it might be his mech warper here. That's not a mech. It's got a lot of mech synergy, but no real mechs to play. Let's put down the light well. The other face a little bit. Actually, let's play the Voodoo Doctor instead to pump up the adventurer. If he has Lightning Storm, then I'm kind of screwed. If he doesn't, I think he loses. What's it gonna be? I think he just lost. Crackle? Well, I think that's 13 damage right there on the board. So, yeah, he's done. Okay, next up is a mage. Bring victory. Probably hold on to both of these. I don't really need the Soul Priest for now. Micro Machines, nice. I just realized, uh... He's gonna be able to target my minions with that Fireball... Hero Power, so... This is going to be real tricky. The Rager is not going to be of much use at all here. Alright. Let's get out the Micro Machines. Wow, I never really thought about it, but that uh, Hero Power is really good in this brawl. 
he basically has his choice of which one he wants to get rid of. I'm actually surprised he chose the Light Warden. I may have to heal myself just to counter his fireball ability. Let's do that. I don't want to play any uh, spells because of his uh, trog there. So he's got me uh, cornered so I can't use my coin. Frostbolt. He probably has a whole handful of uh, control like that. Uh, maybe it's worth using Velen's Chosen. Yeah, I think it's worth it. He's gonna get a small buff, but that's okay. Fireball. Well, damn. What to do? Uh, let's get this guy out here. Still nothing to heal. Polymorph. Does he have any minions besides Trogs in his deck? This is ridiculous. Um, I'm not even sure I want to play anything here. Just to heal my face. That's an interesting idea, using the uh, Spell Stopper. We can... Circle of Healing. There you go. And, um... Maybe... Use light on his face? I think that works. In the light, yeah, let's do some of that. And uh, let's get rid of that 2-1. Uh, That's fine. Voodoo Doctor... Might as well. He's just gonna ping these things off. But we do have uh, Alex Straza waiting up in here. Knowledge is power, and I know a lot. Do you need a blessing? Oh, Palatress is so good. I think we need Alex Straza though. Alex Straza will bait out any kind of uh, polymorph or whatever he might have left. So uh, Palatress will have a better chance of sticking around, I hope. Okay. Does he have the polymorph? Frostbolt. I think he's running out of control here. We have to get the uh, Palatress out. Heal our face? Or maybe this, since uh, he might flame strike or something. Okay, not bad. 5 4. He probably has that flame strike. Yeah, that's really bad. Arcane Explosion! Oh my god! Who knew an Arcane Explosion could do that much? That's uh, crazy. I think I lost this one. I'm all out of cards here. Got 12 on the board right now. 
He's building up a ton of spell damage. Yeah, there you go. Whatever. Okay, one more, and it's another mage. Unfortunately. So the Magma Rager is completely useless here. So is the Micro Machine to uh, some degree. Maybe the Zombie Chow might be alright. I just really hate that uh, hero ability. Seems really overpowered for this uh, tavern brawl. Micro machine. <laughs> He's got two of them on turn two. This is really bad. Uh, let's get the light well out. This is ridiculous. Demolisher, that's an interesting choice. That's one way he can get to my minions without uh, directly attacking them. We can get rid of that one. Might as well. It's only gonna get bigger. Thank god that hit my face. This tavern brawl is basically just one big face race. Pint size summoner. Oh, he got rid of my only real uh, way of dealing damage right now. Do have the uh, light of Naru? Villain's chosen. Uh, sure. Let's do this on her face. In the light's name. Let's put this on the light well. Eh, yeah, might as well restore some health. Oh, nice hit. Right where I wanted it. Eh, yeah, he's got the polymorph. That's too bad. We do have Entomb. We can Entomb the uh, Micro Machine. Might be our only means of surviving right now. Let's see where that, uh... Okay, not bad. He can use that to regain his health, though. Luckless champion. Seems pretty obvious that Mage is the uh, way to go for this Tavern Brawl. Uh, if I play the Soul Priest, then I can't buff the Life Warden, the uh, Light Wardens. Um, I'm gonna have to take a risk here. He does have a Flame Strike probably in his hand. I'm gonna heal my face. Play the Soul Priest. And hope that he doesn't have a Flame Strike. Otherwise, it's uh, just game over. He's got the Flame Strike. So I'm pretty much screwed here. I can do 5 damage to his face. Mind Control. Yeah, my, my choice is either do 5 damage to his face and die, or do 5 damage to his face and die. So yeah, that's the uh, end of the game. Uh, that's too bad.
Okay, well this has been checking out Lead from the Front, the latest tavern brawl. I really had high hopes for this uh, priest deck, but uh, I think I would have had a better shot building a mage deck. The mage has a lot more spells to deal with uh, pesky minions that you can't get rid of. And that uh, hero ability, the fireball, is uh, very useful in this matchup. So maybe I'll uh, try crafting a mage deck later on and uh, try that one out in the tavern brawl. But uh, for now, that'll have to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed watching. And if you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all later in the next episode.